hey everyone, it's Emmy Knightley, and uh, I just beat Fallout 4 on stream, and now I'm very sad. <laughs> but also, we're back to Soma! Yay! Let's see, we'll just get started. We'll just go ahead and do it to it. Simon has found a power suit with a dead body inside. Now he must adapt it so that Catherine can transfer his mind into it and they can continue the journey into the abyss. Three parts are needed. Some structure gel, a cortex chip, a robot, and a power pack. Okay, I kind of remember this. It should be okay. I'm freaked out. I don't want to go into the abyss. I'm going to try to be brave, though. Fallout 4 has made me brave, maybe? I don't know why I would, but in my head, I'm brave now. Okay, let's just go ahead and do it to it, I guess. Ooh, it's loud in here, and I'm scared, and I brought that mouse back to life. I remember that. Okay, so... Let's see, what do I have? I have that, so... Why is it playing... Don't play scary music. Let's see. I guess from here I kinda just gotta explore. Oh god, this is really loud. I need to turn this down because I'm literally gonna die. Okay, now I'm not scared anymore. So, I can't remember where I came from. I can't remember where I headed to. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna get all these things, so I guess I'm just gonna wander around until I find them. Oh. Hey, guy! Can I help you? Can I help you? An eternal nightmare. Okay, so it's probably- I gotta go around to the other side now. Ooh, I really don't like that though. Go ahead and close that. I don't trust it. What's this? There's a secret site? I hate it! What the heck? Why is that exist? Ronnie, I'm not at liberty to ask you to leave. Ronnie, I can't talk about that. Oh fuck, that ain't going in there. I assume I'm gonna have to go in there. Let's look around and see what we can find elsewhere first. Maybe? I was gonna be like, where did they get all these mice at the bottom of the ocean? And then I was like, wait, there's always mice, like, everywhere. Ooh, I don't like that one. Do they usually move that much? Yikes, yikes, yikes. Okay, I guess we gotta go in here. I'm sure this will be fun. I'm definitely not about to get eaten by piranhas. I'm sure. Wait, F? I don't like fish. Fish just remind me of my greatest fears in life. see uh fuck what is it I'm how do I see I'm just like is there a way to see like what my no okay I don't know what my objective is I know I have to get three different things but I don't remember what each of those things is I think I got like a cortex Chip? No, I didn't get Cortex chip. Maybe there's just nothing in here? 
But it, this looks like a place there should be something, you know? Besides a healer. I guess not. Okay, we can leave. I put in different tapes. Oh god. Oh, look at that. Don't mind it. I hate all these noises. What is this? Aha! Ross and the Wah. Confirmed a correlation between the overlooked systems of the systems and the corpse of Dr. Ross. I was able to shield off the corpse inside the glass jar for a couple of seconds. They witnessed a massive drop in the readings. We really have to keep Ross inside Omicron. I suggest finding a way to erect a permanent barrier to avoid severe system malfunctions. Wah is definitely repairing Ross's corpse. It's the most insane thing I've ever encountered. Somehow the Wah, primarily relegated to structure gel inside the walls, is bombarding the corpse with every system it can access. The glass jar is surrounded by an unhealthy amount of electromagnetism and radiation, which seems to be instructing gel already stuck inside Ross's body. Not sure not sure what the wall expects to happen when it's restored, but at least all the crazy should stop when the body hits 100%. Oh, he's the guy in there, I bet. Because it said, like, the wall was attacking it. Oh, that's so freaky. I really don't like that. Let me see if there's any more drawers or anything I pull out. Looks like... No, so I'm not really seeing anything in here besides that. God, I need to listen to some other music or something. This is too intense for me. Let's back out here. Hey, Ross. You gonna meme on me again? No? Good. How did- why did they leave his body in there anyways? What a weird thing to do. So... <sighs> Upper... Lower. I don't even know. I don't remember where I came from. What's in here? Uh, an unusual sedated orange ruffy found hovering outside the Omicron substation. It had a remarkable bone growth that seemed to interfere with its perception. Brought it inside to study it, but it stiffened and died in the process. During post-mortem study, the thing kicked back to life while being out of the water. It kept swinging for a few minutes, so I returned it to an aquarium. It instantly started banging to the glass and bludged itself to death before I could relocate it. Darby and Waldeck identified it as what was sabotaging the Lumar probe at about 900 meters deep. It's a 150 centimeters long rudderfish that looks like it's merged with some other kind of fish or shark. <sighs> it's the freakiest form of mutation you've seen so far. It's clear that it's getting worse. Something is causing this. I'm not buying the radioactive fallout nonsense that Aurora can't shut up about it. Ross. The dead man found on the climber this morning has been identified as Johan Ross, the AI psychologist working at Tau. I can't even begin to imagine what has happened down in the abyss, and frankly, I won't risk losing my staff by going down there to look. If the ARC team is alive, which I highly doubt, they will have to find a way to give us a sign. We're not going down there again without good reason. Yeah, I wouldn't either. I hate this. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Says this forever and never stops. Gross. It's my food for the day. Thankfully, I don't need food. Ooh, webcam. Someone's gonna stream. I don't see anything in here of note. That's weird. I feel like they don't usually just have like empty rooms with nothing in them. What about in the trash? It's scary. Close it. I don't trust it. Okay. I guess we'll keep going. Ooh, a dead body. What the heck? You look more. Dude, what are you? I hate it. It's so freaky. Why is he like kind of alive? I literally hate that. 
He's gonna get up and attack me. I know it. I know it, okay. He's coming for me. I'm going down. I'm going to die. Fuck. I'm so scared. <sighs> I hate this. Cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. This is my last resort. There's so much like ambient noises and I don't like it. You down there, Ross? You doing okay? Stop the wah. Okay. Don't mess with me and maybe I will. Gotta remove that lockdown. I'm just like, is that really a good idea to do? Probably not. But since when did I do good things in this game? Only painful, ter terrible things. Oh god, please don't get up and run at me, dude. I would be really swell. Just please don't. Oh, that's so freaky. Oh, he's okay. He's hanging in there. Thanks, Wa. It's really fucking helpful. Destroy the Wa. It's problematic and must be destroyed. Come on, fucking open it. I feel like I need these, but they're missing. So that's rough. this guy gonna get me? Let's just... Let's just see what happens. Okay, he's having a hard time. Let's leave him be. We don't gotta worry about that. I'm sure he's gonna walk it off. I know what to do here. I feel like I'm gonna get attacked, but I don't know what else to do about this. Okay. Be cry, little guy. It's all gonna be okay. It actually kind of looks like a lady. Is it moving? No, okay. Oh god. Oh god. I have no idea if that would have done anything to me, or if it was just there to freak me out. But it succeeded, I'll tell you what. Close that. Let's go check out storage. It's probably safe in here. Okay, let's just, you know, calm my nerves in here. Let's 
Jeez, man. Man. I don't know if I can do this game on my own. It's so hard. It is so hard. For me to deal with this. Like, I feel like it's legitimately like, not good for my heart. Oh. Okay. Sure thing, Ross. My good old buddy, Ross. Anything for you, you know? That's what I like to see. Headless people. It's my favorite. Thank you for it. Are you attached to anything? No. Oh, it's just that dripping. Okay, I was like, are those... I thought that was fucking, like, footsteps for half a second. I was about to ascend. Oh, hey, guys, do, do you mind if I, uh, listen in? Johan Thanks. Ross was found dead on the climate this morning. The <sighs> team went down a couple of days ago, but I see no reason to suspect them playing a part in his death. Goddamn, goddamn. The climber can't be operated from the abyss, so there was a scheduled retrieval. The climber returned with only the lifeless body of Alpha member Johan Ross. No traces of the ARC team. Okay. Okay. Cameron Eames Lansky. All studying the body inside containment. I'll follow up with whatever they find. Oh, and God. Best. The WoW has been getting more aggressive. Pushing all My heart is just like... Dying. The dead Dr. Johan Ross would be the perfect person to ask why the WoW is making such a big buzz about his passing. After all, the WoW isn't supposed to want anything. Definitely not to mourn people. <sighs> the system overload affects the staff considerably. Headaches, loss of sleep, unwarranted stress. And it seems to be getting worse. I could use some advice if you can get through. Delenda Est. Things are out of hand. The staff looks like they're about to explode. Every other person walks around with nosebleeds, and the rest keep wiping stains of blood from their eyes to keep them from overflowing. That's terrifying. The wow trying to free Ross somehow for sure. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if the body just got up and left. Free him. Rally Herber, our dispatcher, has been snooping around asking questions she shouldn't. She says she's going down into the abyss to find Alpha. I can't bring myself to stop her. Goddamn, goddamn. Documents. Uh, on September 13th, Vic Auclair ordered the staff at Tau to evacuate and move up to the plateau. Together with engineer Alan Waldeck, I descended into the abyss to assist the evacuation. Following protocol, we waited at the climber platform for 140 minutes and made several attempts to contact Tau. I decided to move towards the site, thinking I might intercept them. That's when I noticed the guiding lights flickering and soon the whole path shut down. Omega sector swallowed by darkness. I pushed on with my floodlight until I've heard screaming over the short range radio. I carried on, breaking in and out of range. As I hurried closer to investigate, I came upon the lacerated body of field worker Espinosa. Something bit had almost cut her in two. I considered the importance of saving Tao, and more specifically Ross, as I heard Espinosa's colleagues getting massacred over the radio. Seeing no way to possibly improve the situation, I hurried back to the climber and left the people at Tao to their fate. With some luck, Ross made it back to Tao and is able to continue his work at Alpha. To avoid further disturbances, I have decided to report the evacuation as a complete failure, hoping it will stop Theta from attempting another one. Claudia er Eames, the manager of Omicron, has already ordered the climber to stay at the plateau from now. For now. The report on the savage wildlife scared everyone enough to even stop Waldeck and Darby from maintaining the Lumar probes. It's a good thing Goloski is offsite, because I have a feeling he would not have approved. The restrictions came out slightly more severe than I had anticipated, but I'll take it. As long as Ross is left alone to work with the law. God damn. What is that? What is that? I know what that is. I'm gonna eat all of this. Scary. Okay, look, she got. Oh, here, let me, let me, data miner. Oh, right. 
there ain't nothing because our black box was taken. Silly me, I forgot. Where haven't I gone then? Sir, mess hall, power room. Maybe I should head back and ask. But I guess I can go look over here first. I don't really want to though. Well, this is what my house looks like. Oh god, what is this? Please don't, please don't. No one has their heads. It's weird. I would guess I have to go in here, but I clearly it's locked. And I think I explored the entire downstairs. Um, I'll go try to ask uh, uh Catherine again. I'm so scared that guy that left down here is gonna be like up and moving around and destroying my life. Is he there? He's not there. He's not there! I'm so mad. Is he where is he? Where did he go? Why did I leave all these doors open? Now he can get me. Was that there before? I don't know. No, I don't know. I do. Was this open before? Catherine, I don't know what to do when I'm scared. I'm so scared, Catherine. God, sorry, I'm probably just like suffering. This is probably like really annoying to watch because I'm just like here suffering. Did a new place maybe open up now? I don't know. Catherine, what am I doing? We need to get you a new Cortex chip, just like the ones you find inside robots so we can store your brain. Go look for a robot cortex chip. Go look for a robot cortex chip. Yeah, where would that be? Where would that be, Gavin? Fuck, okay. Well, I think this is actually probably a good place to end it because I'm suffering. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'll see you guys next time while I will go. Go look for a robot cortex chip. I'll go look for a robot cortex chip. See you next time!